All right, so we ended off with the star talking about you having an experience while you're uh, taking a spiritual bath, doing a, doing a spiritual cleansing, especially during the full moon where we're releasing a lot of energies uh, and in conjunction with that with that scorpionic energy. It's like releasing any like sedentary or stagnant toxicity that has been residing within your vessel. And so with the star as your theme, let's actually look at your overall energy as you take this spiritual bath. And this is fascinating because you're showing up as the king of swords, which is really interesting because now if you look at the star also, the star being Aquarius energy and then also the king of swords Aquarius is an air sign. So this is definitely looking like Aquarian energy. So you might be an Aquarius or you might have it somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with an Aquarius. And this king of swords showing up as your overall energy is it's talking about really discerning and deciding on what you're going to allow and what you're not going to allow. So making the final decision is how it's coming through. The King of Swords is, is really pushing through like a final decision that has something to do with finality. And perhaps in this bath, maybe you're, you're actually seeking some type of guidance because we have that crow that's showing up there. And the crow is typically a, a well, it's a messenger energy that can talk about um, omens. And so you never really know if the omen is like a good one or a bad one. And so you go and you speak with the crow because the crow is always going to tell you the truth. And when you get into this place, this spiritual cleansing space where you are completely purified, um, it's like you're able to receive some type of message or some type of guidance because you now have this clear, oh, I'm seeing this as like a clear channel. You now have a clear channel to be able to decide distinctively what you are going to allow in your life and what you are going to essentially dismiss is how, it, is how it's referring to. So let's take a look at your underlying energy and you know kind of see like the influence as to why you why you're coming here right you know so for your underlying energy we have the ten of cups that's showing up here which is really fascinating because it's like i'm feeling into that you're actually experiencing this as a solo event right you know you're you're alone right you're in your bath you're you're receiving messages from spirit you're clearing your channel and you're allowing the energy to reveal itself and deciding as to whether or not you want it involved. And with your underlying energy that's showing up as this 10 of cups, what it's referring to is that your focus is actually on relationships that are fulfilling to you, that, that are emotionally fulfilling to you. So there's, the, there's this interesting dynamic that's happening here um, because we, you know, we have the cups, which is talking about emotions. And then we also have the swords here, which is referring to your mind or, um, kind of like taking a more logic based approach to this. And the interesting thing though, is that even though you might on the surface be taking a more logic based approach or something that is very finite or straightforward, it's like underneath it all, what you're really looking at is does this whatever it is whatever it is that you're looking at maybe it is actually you know in relationship with other people does this actually emotionally fulfill me is this something that is good for me for my highest good for my for my well-being for my greatest benefit and also not only that but for the benefit of all of those that, that surround you the benefit of many right because it's the ten of pentacles not pentacles, the Ten of um, Cups. So it always includes other people as well. And so it's like you're maybe perhaps you're like looking at that and deciding, you know, whether or not there are certain things that are in your life that are not only are there are they good for you, but are they good for all of the people that you the ones that you love and care about too. So there's there's that distinction as well. So let's look at the split um, 
and see where this is connecting you to because it's like you're doing you're in this process for some type of purpose and it's almost as I I feel as though it's like you have intuitively taken this bath it's not like you set out with I mean maybe you did set out with this intention of taking this bath but it's, it, it definitely feels like you received some type of messaging that kind of guided you to intuitively take this bath so let's see ultimately where it's going to be connecting you to um because there is reason of course behind this okay so very fascinating it's connecting you to this page of page of cups oh okay all right so it's connecting you to this page of cups, the eight of wands, and then the six of pentacles, which is very fascinating. So interesting. There's, there's like a couple of different ways that this could be presenting itself. Um, it's like this process is preparing you to actually speak with someone who is of a higher vibration and so you're trying to get it's okay this, this is fascinating it's like you're trying to get connected with them but perhaps where you are in your vibration is it's not a match to that person and so you're cleansing your energy so that you can be a better match so that you can kind of like meet them where they are um, you know, the Six of Pentacles it often talks to me about Mother Mary. So you, it's, it feels as though you're going through this cleansing purification process uh, that is preparing you to kind of like meet, meet this energy and commune with it and also like give some type of offering. It's almost like you're offering up your heart, something like that. It's like you're offering up your heart to this energy and this is a very this energy here is a very like it's definitely like a love and light christ consciousness type of energy here with this mother mary um or the other way that this could go is that you're actually i mean i guess it's kind of like the same thing it's in regards of is this um a physical person that you're trying to communicate with or is it actually like more on the spiritual aspect it's looking like you're cleansing yourself of any perhaps like toxicity, anything that would kind of like present yourself in not a very good manner so that you can actually deliver some type of message. It could even be, <laughs> it could even be an apology, an apology that is trying to balance out some type of situation. And the interesting part here is that, you know, I remember you had this crow that was leading you there intuitively. It's almost as if you knew intuitively that you need to be taking this bath, right? And now what I'm feeling into is that Mother Mary has <clears throat> kind of like influenced you to take this bath so that you can cleanse yourself, so that you can come into this space where you can reach some type of, <clears throat> it's kind of like a reconciliation and I'm feeling in my throat actually that there's like, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff that's clogging in the throat. So it's, it's like you need to say something and this bath is preparing you to, to speak whatever you need to speak. It's like, actually like, it feels very like phlegmy. Um, so it's almost like something that's really sticky, that's been sticking to you that needs to be cleared out, right? So it's like in preparation for, for you meeting another person, it's like you're taking this bath so that Mother Mary can actually like put you two in the same room so that you can reach some type of reconciliation or, or balance the energies between you both. So as always, this message was brought to you by the Psychic Broadcasting Service and is made possible by contributions of dreamers just like you. So please make sure to leave a little comment, tell me how this plays out, even if it's in the future, I would definitely like to know. And follow me for more messages to come. Bye.